Hello everybody! Last week I talked about the concept of categories and why it's an important skill to teach your kids. Pero I know that what you really want to hear about are the specific activities and prompts that you can do and that's what's coming to you next. Kaya tara usap tayo. Let's get talking. Hello! For those of you who are new here, I'm Teacher K and I'm a certified speech language pathologist. And so, the part that I know you want to know, kailan natin pwedeng ituro ito sa mga bata. So, as early as 2 years old, we can start teaching them the skills we need for a categorization. So, that's comparing and contrasting. So, always pay attention to the qualities of objects and not just the names of the objects. So, you can start with looking at pictures of things like this. So, kunyari, alam na niya kung ano yung ducks. So, tatanungin mo siya ngayon, Oh my gosh, this duck is... White. What about this duck? Also white? Hindi. Itong duck na to, brown. Magkaiba sila. Alin sa kanila ang big duck? This one is the big duck. This duck is small. And this duck is big. This duck is bigger than these two ducks. So you can start just by introducing concepts like that and comparing two items para magets nila yung concept na oh man, no, magkaiba sila or oh man, no, pero yun naman, pareho naman sila. The next skill after comparing and contrasting is sorting. Na-mention ko na ito dun sa video ko about before and after play, things that you can do. You may want to look back at that because when I said na kapag gusto mong magpaka-away, pwedeng imbis na ikaw yung laging nagliligpit, i-involve mo sila, tas tanungin mo, let's pack away muna, iligpit muna natin lahat ng mga bilog. Hanapin mo nga lahat ng mga items na bilog, tas kailangan yung mga bilog lang yung maisusort niya. So, that is sorting by feature or a characteristic of that object. But you can also ask them to sort by function. For example, naglaro kayo ng luto-lutoan at may bahay-bahayan so marami kayong mga toys na nakakalat. Pwedeng sabihin mo, yung mga ginagamit lang natin para sa pagluto. So kailangan ang ibibigay lang niya, yung pots, pans, yung mga spatula, etc. Other ideas of things you can involve them with is sorting the laundry. O, edi may katulong pa kayo. So, you can ask them, okay, ihiwalay-hiwalay natin yung mga clothes na sayo at yung kay mama at kay papa. So, that is asking them to sort by seeing, alin ba yung akin? So, merong konsepto of possession niya. Or you can ask them to sort, okay, dito natin nilalagay lahat ng mga pangbaba. So, lahat ng mga isinusuot natin sa bewang pababa. So, yan ang mga shorts, pantalon, mga brief, socks, etc. Tapos, dito natin nilalagay lahat ng pang itaas. So, nandyan ang mga bra ni mama, ang sando ni kuya, ang ribbon ni ate, etc. You can also sort by place. So, for example, naglalaro kayo ng dollhouse and syempre may iba-ibang rooms yon. So, pwede mo siyang bigyan ng laruan. Kunyari, yung toilet. Where do we put this toilet? Ilalagay ba natin yung toilet dun sa tulugan natin? Ay, nyek! Wala naman tayong toilet dun. Ilalagay ba natin dun sa kusina? Nyek! Wee, wee, wee! Ka ba malapit dun sa mga kinakain natin? No, no, no! Ilalagay natin yung toilet dun sa... Banyo! Very good! So the next level for categories are the skills for what does not belong. So finding things na parang out of place ata. And what things go together. So finding things that match. Like malalaman ba niya na kapag nagpakita ka ng spoon, ang partner nun ay fork. Kapag nagpakita ka ng socks, na ang pwedeng kasama nun ay shoes. And then for things that do not belong. So, kunyari, meron akong picture ng rambutan, manga, chiko, tapos sasakyan. Medyo obvious naman, di ba? Alin doon ang hindi nagbe-belong sa group. For doing this, you can scatter lots of toys and see if they can find relationships between two objects together. Pwede rin kayo mag-work with pictures. And yung mga magdodrawing ka ng maraming mga iba-ibang klaseng items, tas ipapamatch mo sa kanila by drawing a line between the two items na kailangan mag-go together. And then, even a higher level skill for categories is divergent naming. Stig ng pangalan na, divergent naming. But ang ibig sabihin lang nun ay nagda-diverge. Meaning, kapag binigyan kita ng 
category anong maiisip ko sa ilalim nun. So, for example, nga nun ay yung family feud na pinakita ko kanina. And things that you can do for divergent naming are, kunyari, magluluto ka na. So, maghahanda ka na ng lunch. Sabihin mo, anak, magluluto si mama ng nilaga. Hmm, ano nga yung mga kailangan natin sa nilaga? Tandaan mo nga kung anong mga nakikita mo sa nilaga. Tapos, tatry niyang tandaan. Siyempre, kapag hindi niya matandaan on his or her own, pwede tayong mag-drawing ng nilaga or maghanap tayong picture ng nilaga, ipakita sa kanya. Tapos, ipapoint out natin yung things. Okay, kailangan merong patatas, merong pechay, merong repolyo, may sibuyas, may karne, may paminta, may luya. O, kaya meron tayong nilaga. And then, you can remove the picture and then say, naaalala mo ba kung anong kailangan natin para sa nilaga? Tara, para magluto na tayo ng nilaga. Anong kailangan natin? Tapos, try niyang ilista yung mga items na naaalala niya. So, this takes a lot of memory work for a child. Kaya medyo mas mahirap na siya. Because, especially if you don't show a picture, talagang out of memory na lang nung basis ng information nila. You can also ask them to set the table. O, anak, kakain na tayo. Nagluto si mama. So, ikaw naman yung maghanda ng ating kakainan. So, ano nga kailangan natin para kumain? Okay, isip tayo, di ba? Kailangan natin ng placemat, kailangan natin ng baso, plato, spoon, kutsara, tinidor, minsan kutsilyo. O ayan, so you can ask them to name the items in that category also. So think of your own categories na gusto mong gumawa siya ng listahan. Or for example, gagawa kayo ng listahan para sa grocery. O anak, tulungan mo si mama isipin yung mga prutas na gusto nating bilhin. O can you give me all the fruits that you can remember? Okay, go! And one of the harder skills pa talaga about categorization is convergent naming naman. So if yung the one before was divergent naming, as in nag-iisip kayo ng items, ito naman is bibigyan kayo ng items or ng list of items or ideas, tapos kayo yung maghahanap ng similarities, tapos papangalanan nyo ngayon yung kategorya. So, baliktad siya ng divergent naming. Instead of asking them to think of the items based on the category, they will have to name the category. So, this is a little bit harder than divergent naming. So, kunyari, bigyan nyo siya ng, Anak, kailangan kong bumili, pero hindi ko maalala kung anong tawag doon. Pero kailangan ko kasi ng saging. Kailangan ko ng mansana, strawberry. Ano nga tawag dito sa tatlo? Ah, prutas! Thank you na! So, these are some of the ways that you can handle convergent naming. And that's it for today. I hope na marami kayong napulot. Actually, I love categories. This is one of my favorite things to tackle in speech therapy. Kasi ang dami-dami yung pwedeng gawin. You just really need to use your imagination and really the things that ginagawa nyo araw-araw. Especially, I always remind you to make it meaningful for you guys. If you found that helpful, please show me with a thumbs up and ishare yun na rin po. And you may leave me comments here or on my Facebook and Instagram at Teacher K Talks. Sabihin nyo na rin sa akin kung meron kayong mga specific topics na gusto nyong marinig or malaman about and I will try to work on them. If hindi pa po kayo nagsusubscribe, please consider joining our community. We would love to have you here. And hanggang sa muli, happy talking and mabuhay!